Head there, lad, no problem. The reason I came here is there's another beach just that way, over there. But it's as busy as can be. So I wanted to go somewhere a bit quiet. So I could bring my camera and not be afraid to get stolen when I go swimming. Today I wanted to talk about like judgment and self-esteem and just doing things. Sometimes I find it very hard to let go of my self-conscious self and just do what I want to do and it's something that's held me back for years, a long time. Even when I did something I wanted to do, I'm, even now it's in the back of my head that you know, who's going to watch this? What are people going to think? And I'm finally getting to the stage, which I think everyone should get to eventually, where you just don't care. I mean, as long as you're not hurting anyone. Yeah, that was great. My next few videos on this channel anyways are gonna be me trying to get out of my comfort zone. Posting on YouTube, maybe doing some artistic stuff and just enjoy what I'm doing. Right, so we're back from our swim. Yeah, so I'm 26, I don't know how to drive. And so I figured, why don't we just start right now? Um, it's something I've always meant to have done, but Either I couldn't afford it, I was traveling, or I was just too lazy, to be honest. I never had a need to drive. I always lived in uh, big cities, lots of transport. I could cycle, get a lift, you know. <coughs> <coughs> ah, I put aspirin in my water and it's not dissolving right. Oh man, I think it's too old or something. Anyways, let's try this one. All right, we can do this. What are the drink driving penalties for a learner driver with blood alcohol concentrate BAC of 20 milligrams to 80 milligrams per 100 liter milliliters of blood? Ugh, I have no idea. Um, disqualification, I think. Is that a lot of alcohol? I'm gonna go for this one. What should the driver do when approaching this situation? Um, driver should maintain current speed and reduce distance from the silver car. Oh, there's a car ahead of us. Driver may overtake the car and the girl as the road is marked with a broken white line. I mean, yeah, I guess. What danger should a driver allow for over the brow of this hill? There may be no road markings ahead. I guess. According to a pre-crash report, what type of fatal collision was a person more likely to be involved in when drinking driving? When drink driving. Uh, I've done no study for this, by the way. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going off pure uh, common sense here. I'm going to say pedestrian collision, I guess. Maybe. Where safety belts are fitted to a car when most adult occupants wear them. At all times, I'm gonna say that. When required to stop in an emergency, what should the driver do? Play firm pressure on the foot brake. I'm gonna say put pressure on the foot brake, right? Handbrake will make you spin. Yeah, I think in this case. What should the driver do in the event of a breakdown or incident in a tunnel? Oh, God. Um. Switch off engine and switch on hazard lights, I guess. What should a driver do if condensation is affecting the vehicle's windows? Make sure that all... Dry the windows with a cloth and then use a demister system. I'm going to go with that one. Although the cloth thing is a bit weird, but alright. How should a child restraint system be fitted in a vehicle? Um, hmm. It should be fitted forward, right? Should be placed in the floor, it should be fitted according to the manufacturer's instructions, naturally. I don't know how many questions are there, like 40. Oh, there's a time limit too. Shit. Um, what should a driver use? When should a driver use fog lights under vehicle? In dense fog and rain? I don't know. I mean, it's fog light. Driver passes their test 
using a vehicle with automatic transmission. Which vehicles are they licensed to drive? Um, only automatics, right? All automatic vehicles in the license category, obviously. Who's responsible for ensuring child wear restraint system of vehicle? Any adult passenger. Uh, the driver only. The parents of the child only. Uh, hmm. I'm going to say the driver. How can fuel efficiency be improved? Um, using gentle acceleration and making gear changes at appropriate speed. When driving on dark winter's morning and evenings on unlit country roads, what should the driver be aware of? Driver should drive at all times with side lights. I'm going to go with the first one. When a driver is driving behind another vehicle and they do not intend to overtake, what should the driver do? Nothing, I guess. Keep well back and to the center of the road. I'm going to go with that one. What does this sign mean? Uh, road narrows on both sides. Or no, end of dual carriageway. It's one of those two. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, road narrows. What effect does towing a loaded trailer have on stopping ability? I don't know. I don't tow trailers. It increases the stopping distance. Right? Yeah, it should increase the stopping distance. What was the purpose of a catalytic converter? Oh man. I don't know. Um, filters, exhaust, uh, increase engine power, catalyst. One of these two. I'm gonna go with this one. What does this guard E signal mean? Oh, hop ahead there, lad. No problem. Traffic approaching from the front must stop. Uh, Traffic approaching from the front may proceed. Up oh, there now, lad. Oh, move on. That. What should the driver do in this situation? Uh, which is the driver? Me here. Okay. Uh, I should probably uh, slow down, I guess. Driver may proceed around about... No. You have, to, you have to yield to the yellow car. Unless you're a risk taker. What does this sign mean? <laughs> but <to our> head. <laughs> <laughs> um, possibility of sheep I'm going to say when may a trailer be towed on a public road without a rear number plate oh man never I think the answer is what does this sign mean it's, uh, only cyclists and bus allowed to use this during indicated times moving on what does a dri what must a driver do when this sign is accompanied by a white stop line on the road. Um, stop. I guess. Usually you stop at a stop sign, right? How should a driver proceed if their view is obstructed at a junction? Sound the horn several times and proceed. <laughs> Some of these are funny. Um, I guess move out slowly and be careful. When driving, where should the driver rest their Foot, left foot all right so i've on a private property i have attempted to drive before and as far as i remember the left foot does the clutch and the right foot is acceleration in ireland i think so it rests on the brake on uh, no foot rest yes there's a foot rest and you quickly switch to brake or clutch depending right ah i do know some things which sign does, <laughs> if I get that wrong now, uh, which, what does this sign mean? Oh man, corner head on offside lane, I'm going to say, hopefully. Next question, what the, what should a driver do if they arrive at a scene of a collision? Ooh, carrying hazardous material, hazardous material, try preventing leakage. <laughs> yeah, I ain't going to do that. Um... Keep well and clear and call emergency services. While driving at higher speeds, what does a continuous vibration in the steering indicate? That you need to get yourself a better car. <laughs> um, no. Uh, shock absorbers are worn? No. Yeah, I'm going to say shock absorbers are worn. 
Uh, what should a driver do if an ambulance is stopped up ahead, flashing its blue lights? Reduce speed and prepare to stop if necessary. I'll just go with that one. What is an, an what is an effect of underinflated tires on a vehicle? I'm gonna say impaired braking and steering. What should a driver do if they drive past their ex intended exit by mistake? Swing that thing around, do a U-turn. Uh, <laughs> drive on and leave at next exit. I'm gonna go with the safe answer there. That's what they want to hear. <laughs> when stopped at traffic lights and the green light comes on, but pedestrians are still crossing the road, what should a driver do? Beep at them, of course. No. Um, <laughs> move forward to encourage them to complete the crossing. <laughs> I'm going to say wait. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait. Um, how would hydraulic power steering be affected if an engine stalled in slow moving traffic? Oh man, um, I don't know, I have no idea. Wheel would lock, maybe? Or it would become heavier and difficult to operate? I think it locks. What does this sign mean? Uh, you're not allowed to go that way, no entry ahead. What should a driver do if they see roadworks, machinery with amber flashing lights ahead? Mm. Slow down and prepare to stop if necessary. What should the driver do before getting out of the vehicle? Check their side mirrors and look behind before opening the door, I think. What does this sign mean? Never seen that sign before. I'm going to say two-way street ahead. Two-way traffic. Hey, we only have a couple of questions left. What's the effect on incorrectly adjusting driver's seat? Um, mm, mm. Uh, I'm going to say it can delay the driver. Last question, along with an impairment test, what may guard a request if they suspect a driver of driving under the influence of drugs? A breath sample, perhaps? I mean, they could ask you for your driving license, but I'm just gonna go for a breath sample. Let's see if I passed. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna be learning to drive anytime soon. Might need to practice this a little bit. Let's see what we got wrong. Right, so I failed that, obviously I failed that question. I don't even know what these measurements are. I haven't done chemistry in a long time. You're gonna get three months disqualification? That seems a bit lenient. Anyways, approaching this situation, reduce speed and main steady and break up. Okay, yeah, okay, do the safe thing, right. Uh, there may be slow moving vehicle in your lane. Okay, that makes sense. A uh, single vehicle collision. See, what am I meant to know about pre-crash reports? Like, I don't read pre-crash reports. Yeah, right, I got I got quite a few of these wrong. Um, most of them, though, are ones that I kind of expected I was going to get wrong. Except for this one. For my rest of my day, I'm probably going to go shoot some more photos. Try to get a shot for my Instagram. I'm doing a shot every day. But yeah, other than that, I think I'm done for today. Just edit this video. Hope you found it interesting. I'm going to continue this, see if I can do better next time. See if I can improve on those answers just a little bit. Alright, peace out.